crypto and meme stocks are not going to save you in 2023. I still get people come to me uh, asking about if there's any other stocks like that, if they could throw money into a stock and it'll take off and make huge numbers. I think people, they were fed too much BS from uh, that 2021 bull market and they don't understand the bull market or they don't understand the stock market. Kirby, I don't know if you're experiencing the same with other people coming to you about stocks, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, stock 2023 all the way. Why? Because <laughs> I don't like money. I do not like money. I'm giving it all away. Yeah, that that's pretty much how it is. You lose it all. Hey, yeah. guys, welcome back to Passing Money. My name is Alex. That's Kirby. Um, but, yeah, so I'm, I've am i been getting people come to me um, and asking me questions like, do you think that this stock is going to pull a, what was that, GameStop? I mean, there's like, and I told them, I don't know, look at the share float. Like I, I you know, the, the short share float. I, I don't know. Like there's what happened with GameStop, what happened with AMC. It's, those are like anomalies. Like I don't, I haven't been in the stock market say as long as like you, but I don't see that as like something that is common or someone can foresee happening. That's my perspective. Yeah. Um. All right. First off, uh, the intro was, uh, I was being facetious. I was, I'm lying to myself. Um, hell no, I'm not getting into the meme stocks. And it's a simple reason why. The reason why everybody jumped into the meme stocks because money was free and money was very uh, easy to come by. So when money is easy to come by, you can make crazy gambles. As long as the interest rate, the short-term interest rate stay you know, at this elevated level, 4 and 5%, the cost of borrow money is at an elevated level. People are not going to those meme stocks to push up those meme stocks. As a matter of fact, the company themselves, forget the stock, the company themselves, they're heavily indebted and they will more than likely file bankruptcy soon. I mean, I'm not saying, when I'm saying soon, I mean within the next two to five years, they will file bankruptcy because remember, corporate debt is a floating debt. And floating debt is elevated now, especially if the short-term Fed funds rate is high, then corporate debt is even higher and then they will have to refinance and renew those uh, term obligations and debt obligations. And they don't have the money. So let's go with, I'm just going to pick two mean stocks out there. Let's go with GameStop. GameStop, what do they do? You tell me, what do they, what do GameStop do? I know you got family members that play video games. So what do they do? They're pretty old school, but they, uh, from my understanding, they just sell uh, the hard copy games. They sell consoles. Uh, they sell gift cards, uh, accessories, stuff like that. All right. And then GameStop, now is PS5, uh, Xbox, whatever number we're on. Now most of the stuff is downloadable digital, just like a Netflix or something like that, right? Right. So their business is becoming obsolete, just like uh, Blockbuster. I know you don't know what Blockbuster is. That's I do. Way before your time. I'm not that you do. Yes. I'm not okay, okay. Okay. All right. So it's 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 just like Bob Buster. It's like, all right, it's gone. I mean, unless somebody's still walking around here with a, a PlayStation, I don't know if you know what that is either, but like a PlayStation 2 or 3, then that have hard copy games, what is the point of of a GameStop? I mean, I know they're they're pivoting their platform, they're trying to, you know, come up with the online store and all this other garble, but what you're going to sell use downloadable game? Yeah. Right. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. So it's either, it says everything is downloadable now and you can just upload it or however they do it. I mean, just like the Netflix model. As long as they can do that, then there is no point of having a GameStop. Which, so then, go ahead. Sorry, which is also in competition, uh, competition with, say, Microsoft or Sony for having the they have their stores online that you go directly into and you can download games. Right. And, and so that, that's my point right there. So if Sony's saying, all right, we have this game and you can download it for, let's say, 50 bucks. Right. Or upload it or stream it or whatever for 50 bucks. So what is GameStop going to do? Buy the same game for 50 bucks and say, oh, you can stream it from us for 20 bucks? Yeah. That's a losing business model. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what I mean by it makes no sense. 
they right. will continue to lose money over and over and over again. There is, I see no way for them to be profitable. Then you pivot to something like AMC or something like that, or movie theater AMC. Uh, heavily in debt. Heavy, heavy, heavy in debt. Now, I'm going to be honest. I did not think that people would go back to the movie theaters as much as they do now. And the only reason why I said that, I really had faith in humanity. Silly me. I thought during COVID, I thought during COVID, people, since everybody was locked up in the house, they would see how much money they're saving by, you know, sitting there streaming movies and stuff like that. They had to wait for stuff to come out and they get on the streaming services that they would become patient and then they would be like, well, I'm saving money, so I'm not going to do it again. Silly me, I bet it on humanity and I lost. So with that, people are going back to the movie theaters. But since AMC and, you know, even Carnival Cruise Line and things like that, they had to raise so much debt to stay afloat for those years during COVID. It's not, it, it's not as many people from 2019 that's going back to the movies now. And there's not enough movies that's in production at the movie theater, especially with all these streaming services that makes it movie worthy. You know, right now we have Avatar, we have Black Panther, but besides that, maybe, you know, Top Gun or something. It's not, it's, in this whole year, it's only been three or four movies that people were like, oh, I have to go to the movie to see it. Besides that, it's all been, oh, I can wait to go streaming. I can wait to go streaming. And look at the earnings report of those meme stocks. They've been losing money hand over fist. You know, revenue grew when uh, Black Panther came out a little bit, grew a little bit, uh, grew some when Top Gun came out. But besides that, all in all, they're still uh, cash flow negative. That's one. They're operating at a deficit. That's two. And they still trying to find ways to make money just to keep the company afloat. And if anybody's paying attention, the CEO, who I think has the most shares in the company itself, he's been selling off shares over the past couple of years saying it's a legacy plan. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it ain't, but he ain't sitting here trying to hold the bag while everybody else, while he's trying to turn the ship around. And my question is, if he believed he could turn the ship around, why would he sell at this price if he thought that he was going to get the price higher and the company was going to operate, operate at a better level? But he will say legacy plan, so I'm going to let him go with whatever thing he got going on, but I'm not invested in the stock or the company, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, that's that's a good point too because like if you think about it, um, in comparison, especially with like say GameStop, Sony, Microsoft, it's the same thing when you say like look at uh, Netflix, Amazon, whatever, all the streaming services. How it looks like there's a lot more series coming out than movies in the movie theaters. You know, it's like it used to be like there was always a new big hit movie and people would go to the theaters to see it. They would wait for it to come out on what was it, the Red Box, whatever and then uh watch it at home but like now it's like netflix is coming out with series people stay home watch uh netflix i i knew people would still go back to the theaters because it's more so of like it's the same concept of like people go to the theaters like the same way that people go out to restaurants to eat food it's for entertainment but um i think a lot more of the like production aspect of like movies and filmmaking is leaning towards like uh shows and series not so much like movies anymore right and yeah and i agree and that's why a lot of memes like what's the other one out there best buy best buys closer stores uh what was what was more of the meme stocks that we had back in in the easy money days was it bio nano genomics didn't that one rally up like uh yeah bio bio uh bngo yeah biodynamics yeah, yeah. I, I don't say it was a meme stock but because it I got the main mania. It went from like like sixty cents to like five dollars. I mean, it jumped a whole bunch, you know. Right, right. Well, more, I was looking more of the ones that went from like sixty cents to like, like three hundred dollars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was looking for those. Well, didn't it like those? Um, was... Uh, no, not Nvidia. Uh, the one you were investing in, uh, Neo. When, that wasn't a meme stock, but it was no. It had rallied no, up. No, no, no. I mean, but that that was a 
That right there was a show of easy money. It wasn't a meme sign, okay. but it was a show of easy money. The concept, the business model, and everything is there, but that was a show of easy money overinflating the company that the valuation, the valuation or what people was paying for a stock price was way higher than the actual valuation of the company. Okay. But yeah, but no, I, I mean, actually, I still like that company that you mentioned, but I'm not going to mention it again because I don't want to say I was endorsing the stock. But yeah, I still like that company. Um, but RKT I, had like one day rocket, uh, rocket companies, rocket mortgage. Yeah, yeah, but I don't put that as a meme. I don't put that as a meme. A meme is it's it's out there and people sitting there saying to the moon, to the end of the world and back. And uh, I mean, stuff that, you know, went stupid crazy and people still trying to hold on to it. Like when people tell you, talk about meme stocks with you, they don't bring up the RKTs of the world. They had a one day blip. I mean, the one that had stupid, insane moves for a long period of time. I mean, that's, you know, Best Buy, bit not Best Buy, uh, Bed Bath Beyond. That's right, right, AMC. Right. That's the uh, Game Stops of the world. Um, it's a couple more out there. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, but but those and and like I said, the money's not easy. You know, money's not just falling out the sky in people's pocket, so they don't have nothing else to do with it. So they just jumping in on stocks now. The cost of capital costs a lot of money, and then people watching every penny. So they're just not going to invest first. And if they are going to invest, they're not going into the mean the meme sphere. And the people that are still in the mean sphere of stocks, they just sit there, they glutton for punishment, and they're just waiting for another COVID incident to happen or the feds to go something crazy and drop the rates to zero for it to take off. But besides that, those stocks, I believe, are going nowhere, and I think they're going to crash. Mm -hmm. I think I know they're going to crash, but I'll say think for just this channel purpose. Well, guys, with that being said, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with everyone, and we'll see you guys in the next video.